हेलो एवरी वन सो लेट्स बिगिन द एनालिसिस फॉर निफ्टी करेंटली सो एज यू गैस कैन सी दिस इज अ वन आर टाइम फ्रेम चार्ट सो बेसिकली वॉट वी हैव ऑब्जर्व अंटल नाउ इज दैट देर वॉज अ ट्रेंड एंड नाउ करेंटली वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग कंसॉलिडेशन राइट सो वॉट डू आई थिंक अबाउट द मार्केट करेंटली सो uh let's just uh, go to the daily time frame and look at the chart once yeah so uh if you guys can look at the daily time frame chart you guys will observe that the price currently nifty where it is it is very far away from the moving averages this is just a general observation right so now currently uh we have we must be of the opinion that uh, nifty uh, must either undergo time consolidation that there was a beautiful trend over here and it has uh, consolidated for a while or it must pull back a little for the trend to continue higher right as such uh, when we are observing currently uh there are no negative cues at least right so uh, um so let let's uh, look at a few data points now uh the chart is really simple the analysis is really simple you just have to look at the chart there you see a trend and a consolidation right so now uh, i have also marked out the support and resistances for nifty right so the support being at 19400 and the resistance being at 19500 okay let's move forward now i want to show you guys one important data point as you guys can see this is the implied volatility chart for uh, nifty today so as you guys can see the implied volatility is almost similar for all of the different strike prices of the call option and the put option the average being at uh, 10 or 11 right so let's come back so what this indicates is that the market is expecting the movement to be very little right so implied volatility basically implies how much is the uh, underlying asset expected to move either way like it indicates the volatility or the momentum so currently the general implied volatility for nifty uh, stands at 35 to 40% usually it is like a standard average but right now we see that the implied volatility is way far down so what i expect from the market is that we have seen a trend we have seen a beautiful trend and now it is undergoing consolidation so either it must undergo time consolidation it must stay in a range or it must uh, fall down very quickly so now uh, let us look at a few more things uh, we want the momentum to be back right so when will it be back when the implied volatility shoots up so it will shoot up in cases of uncertainty right so if there is any major news event or the quarterly results of any major companies are coming up or there is a huge gap up or gap down right so basically what it tells is that there is uncertainty uh, and uh, people are confused then the iv spikes up right so currently uh, let's look at a few news over here um yeah so the news is generally positive and uh, so what we can observe is that the news is not that uh, sentimentally very negative it is a general news we can just ignore the news for today uh, let's look at uh, one more data point let's look at pcr so as i have told you when pcr is in the range of 0.7 to 1 we consider nifty to be bearish right yeah so what i expect the market to do is we will just wait for the market to open tomorrow we will see how it opens 
and then depending upon if there is a huge gap down opening uh, or a gap up opening uh, then we would be more focused into the put option buying we would be bearish on the market right so what i generally think the market would do in the very near term is that if there is any uh, no major event like uh, there is no confusion and there is no major event in the market the market will just consolidate in a range and uh, stay here for a while and then the trend may continue either way so if there is no major news i am repeating for you guys if there is no major news or if there is no confusion in the market we are just seeing that the nifty is undergoing a period of consolidation and now uh, we may also trade now by uh, selling far out of the money call and put options but uh, they would require a lot of capital but um, we would just use a safe strategy we would not take much risk we would uh, if you guys want if you any of you guys want to take the trade you can uh, take the trade by selling far out of the money call or put options okay mm, so let's see uh, how nifty reacts tomorrow if there is a huge gap down right if uh, the support or the resistance levels are breached suppose nifty opens over here or over here right so then we may definitely be bear bearish on the market in the first session that is the opening and then we may follow price action and keep a strict stop loss and then initiate our uh, bearish trade thank you so much for watching see you in the next one